Welcome back to Inside Out. Well, the spotlight today is going to be on data patterns, which is a vertically integrated defense and aerospace electronic solutions with end-to-end -end capabilities. The company's business is divided into three main segments, development, production, and services, wherein its capabilities span across missile systems, radars, electronic warfare, satellites, and communications. The development segment includes products that are under design, development, and trials in collaboration with platform and research organizations like DRDO. The products under this segment gradually mature and shift to final production orders for the company. The production segment caters to orders related to already developed defense platforms and margins are usually high in this segment. The services segment primarily includes hardware design, product development, and software services company has been experiencing higher development orders, this is beneficial as a development order eventually gets converted to a production order, which has a higher margin, leading to overall increase in profitability. The quarter one order book, which was at 967 crore rupees, has 33% coming from production segment, 62% from development, and the rest from services segment. And the clans included BEL, Brahmos, DRDO, HAL, Ministry of Defense, to name a few. The key products or services would include satellites, radars, which would be building blocks and signal processing, antenna, transmit or receive modules, etc. There would also be electronic surveillance and monitoring, which is required by Army, Air Force and Navy. Lastly, communication systems, which would be required by all the three armed forces as well. Now, how does this convert into financials? The company has seen a strong growth in revenues over the past few years. Revenues increasing from 130 crores to 450 crore rupees in FY23, which is a 36% CAGR. EBITDA rising from 26 crore to 172 crores in FY23, indicating a CAGR of 60%. And profits rising multifold, indicating a CAGR of 34% from FY19 to FY23. In terms of balance sheet as well, they are net cash. Their net debt to equity has reduced from 0.5 times in FY19 to nil, that is in FY23. Quickly glancing through their working capital as well, while receivable days have increased in FY23 to 308 days, creditor days have reduced to 35, inventory days have also increased 155 versus 141, and cash conversion cycle, that has seen a slight decline to 275 days. Company has given targets of what it wants to achieve in next two years. They are targeting large opportunities in radar, communication systems, and satellite business looking to be a major participant for contracts worth 2,000 to 3,000 crore rupees in the next three to four years. And they're also exploring opportunities in export markets with targets of 20% plus return on capital employed and return on equity for investors, sustainable margins at 40% and revenue CAGR of 25%. While things look good, there are a couple of risks to the business. Data patterns business is highly dependent on projects and programs undertaken by government and associated entities. Decline of the Indian defense or space budget could impact business. Additionally, majority of the contracts are fixed price contracts. And in the past, the company has witnessed cost overruns in the case of some contracts. So this could be a risk. The stock trades at FY23 P of 69 times. So it is on the expensive side. But with that, we have run out of time on this episode of Inside Out. It's a goodbye from Nigel and I. But do write to us and tell us the companies you want us to discuss and you want to hear about and we'll feature these on our show. Thanks a lot for watching.